so uh, the function is set to be Riemann integral uh, so it's the lower Riemann integral and the upper Riemann integral so that is equal to um, both are equal and that is called the Riemann integral of a bounded angle uh, Riemann integral except to say Riemann integral on the so uh, you can have functions where um, the lower integral is less than uh, the uh, upper integral. Now, uh, provided the Riemann from a uh, Riemann integral exists, uh, that represents the area under the curve uh, of x uh, from x equal to a to uh, b. So, this represents the uh, usual integral in the uh, definition world that represents the area under the curve uh, representing f of x. Now, uh, let us uh, look at so this is the first portion of um, Riemann integral. So we we'll, uh, look at another version of uh, Riemann integral. Uh, so that is actually using uh, step functions. Okay. So number uh, partitions and the number partitions are the number. That means we have to close the interval. We do not divide it. So in uh, each partition, we are looking at the uh, upper bound and uh, supreme and interim. Uh, now, uh, here uh, we will form uh, step functions and using step function, uh, we will define the uh, lower and uh, upper uh, integrals. Okay. Now, uh, by a step function, we mean uh, that is a function of this type. Okay. So, we have a particular uh, interval and in so let's uh, take the interval x1. Uh, x2 uh, to xn. So, uh, step function usually means the function. Uh, or interval, the uh, function value constant. Uh, again. So, uh, let's not to x1. It will take some particular value c1, x1 to x2. It will take some particular value c2. At the interval, the uh, value uh, c3. Uh, again. So, a function of this type uh, is called a uh, step function. Uh, uh, so, a real value function phi uh, defined on closed interval a b uh, is said to be a step function uh, if there exists a partition uh, d. Uh, the partition is formed by the points x0, x1, x2, x is by xn, the closed interval a b, and n constants c1, uh, c2, etc. c n such that so phi of x will be equal to ci. Uh, in the interval xi minus 1 less than x less than xi. So, phi in the function number of step function on the So, there will be uh, division of closed interval a b such that uh, phi of x will be ci in the interval xi minus 1 to uh, xi. So, uh, phi in the value constant directly more uh, sub interval. Now, um, we say that phi is less than or equal to s uh, if um, number of the functions on the step function uh, then sums of any arbitrary function f of x then we say that phi is step function uh, is less than or equal to a given function f if provided for all x values phi of x in the number of function value for all x values in the closed interval a b uh, provided phi of x is less than or equal to fx, uh, we say that uh, x is less than or equal to uh, phi is less than or equal to uh, f. Okay, so if phi is less than or equal to f uh, in closed interval a b, then uh, phi must be less than or equal to f in each uh, sub interval. So phi of x must be less than or equal to f of x uh, for all. Uh, x belongs to x i minus 1 to x i. In the uh, number e interval x i minus 1 to x i in phi of x in the value c i. So phi less than or equal to x means uh, c i is uh, less than or equal to f. So that means uh, in this sub interval x i minus 1 to x i, uh, f of x is greater than or equal to uh, c i. So, uh, x in the number maximum lower bound on uh, uh, So, C i is a lower bound of f in x i minus 1 to x i. Uh, now, 
take summation uh, for all this intervals. I do a CI, the other interval layer, so all the interval corresponding to each i, uh, we will get f of x uh, greater than or equal to uh, ci. Now take the sum uh, 1 to n ci into uh, xi minus xi minus x1. So uh, uh, this will be a lower uh, sum of f with respect to uh, d. So here uh, we are getting uh, a lower sum with respect to uh, d. And now uh, this is one partition. Arbitrary partition. So if you consider all such phi, uh, we will get all the uh, possible lower sums. So for each phi, uh, we will get a lower sum of uh, this form. And um, if you uh, look at integral a to b phi of x dx, uh, that can be written as x naught to x1. Numla uh, division search integral may be in the first um, sub interval phi of x in the c1 radical, second interval p2, and the last interval it will be c1. So that will be c1 into integral value x1 minus x0 term, then c2 x2 minus x1, then cn. Uh, xn minus xn minus 1. So that is summation 1 to n uh, ci into uh, xi minus x minus 1. So uh, if uh, you have a test function um, such that um, phi is less than or equal to s, then integral a to b uh, phi of x dx uh, will be uh, representing the lower uh, sum. Okay, so the model over sum is uh, so, that will be uh, given by integral a to b phi of x dx. So, the set of a lower sum uh, may be written as uh, integral a to b uh, phi of x dx such that phi is a step function and phi is less than or equal to uh, f. Okay. Apo, uh, collect all the uh, step functions uh, on closed interval a, b such that phi is less than or equal to uh, f. Um, so that will uh, be uh, lower sum of uh, f on closed interval a b in a lower sum in the uh, lower sum in the supremum article so lower sum in the supremum article uh, uh, lower riemann integral over a. so uh, the lower riemann integral will be supremum over b uh, x t so uh, that is equal to supremum over uh, phi less than or equal to f so we have taken uh, lower sum in a phi less than or equal to f radical uh, integral a to b phi of x dx. So, this uh, supremum will be the uh, lower uh, Riemann integral. Now, similarly, uh, consider all the step functions as that y is greater than or equal to f. So, that will uh, give the uh, upper uh, bound for uh, the Riemann sum. So, consider the step function psi, such uh, that psi is greater than or equal to f, then uh, the value psi, uh, so in each sub interval also psi will be greater than or equal to f. Uh, so, number uh, psi q underwala, so integral a to b psi of x dx uh, will be an upper uh, sum of f over closed interval a b. Now, upper sum in the inferior medica that will be the uh, upper. Riemann integral. So, upper Riemann integral uh, will be in term over psi greater than or equal to f integral a to b psi of x dx. Uh, so, uh, we will get uh, the function to be Riemann integrable uh, provided uh, the supreme over psi less than or equal to f uh, rather number uh, lower Riemann integral on a this is upper Riemann integral. Uh, so, provided these are equal, we say that the function is uh, Riemann integrable. So, uh, this is the uh, uh, version of Riemann integrability uh, in terms of uh, the step function phi n to phi. So, that is the uh, second version of uh, Riemann integral.
Now let us uh, look at an example where a uh, yeah, function to sort stream on it. So uh, we are given the function uh, fx is 0 when x is rational and 1 when x is rational. So we need to show that it is not Riemann integrable uh, over uh, root integral AB. So uh, it is enough to show that uh, the lower Riemann integral and the upper Riemann integral uh, are uh, not equal. So you have an arbitrary partition. So in any arbitrary partition, the internal value will be 0 and the supremum value will be uh, 1. So capital MI will be equal to 1 and small MI will be 0. So um, capital FB, uh, small FB will be MI 0 and so small FB will be 0. Capital FB uh, will be capital M in the value 1 nana. So 1 will do xi minus xi minus 1. That will be b minus a. So supreme over fd will be 0 and inferior over capital fd will be b minus a. So the lower Riemann integral is 0 and the upper Riemann integral is b minus a. So therefore both are not equal, so we can conclude that f is not uh, Riemann uh, integral.